team felt like they had a win within their grasp here tonight, and unfortunately, things got away from them here in this fourth quarter. Last year, MHS turned to alumnus Paul Seaver to take the reins of their boys' basketball program. Looking back on his inaugural season of coaching, Paul is hopeful the growing pains the team experienced will serve as a foundation for a successful campaign in the 2015-16 year. It was a rebuilding year for this program, and you know with, we were the youngest team in the Hawk. It was a transition year, a growing year for so many guys. So, you know, could we have won a few more games? Probably, but in terms of positioning this program where it needs to be now, I think it was a necessary year to go through. Milford will have the unique experience of having longtime friends and former Scarlet Hawks teammates running each of their basketball programs this season. Both coaches believe that will serve as an asset this season and in the years to come. I've known him since I was in high school and we have a good relationship and you know now that we can bounce things off each other you know it goes both ways. TJ and I were both young coaches you know we, we can transition well he did a great job with my JV team last year he's coaching the girls now you know it, it, it helps you know when we build relationships with kids you know getting along with them you know being in a familiar you know, sharing familiar things with them, whatever it is, you can relate better to them. And I think uh, we've got a good message across over the first year. The boys are in a similar position as the girls team with the majority of their roster returning from last season. I think it's great, you know, talking about last year, you know, could we have won a few more games? Sure, but at the same time, you know, we have 10 of 14 guys coming back who now have a year of RC experience under their belt. They've gone through growing pains, especially some of them are sophomores, some of them are juniors. You know, we, we even had a couple freshmen who we called up who are now sophomores and they got, you know, varsity experience under the belt practices and games. Um, they've all transitioned well. You know, this, this group went through an entire off season together through summer league, fall league, playing in a couple of tournaments. They've, they've built their culture and chemistry up to a point where, you know, it's not like a new team coming together this past week. They've been playing together for months. They're, for, they're comfortable with each other. They, they play well off each other, and I think that's allowed us to just kind of jump into this season as is. It's been a tough transition for the program, with some players experiencing three different head coaches in the last three years. But with Coach Seaver now heading into his second season, he and his players have enjoyed the continuity. Even the JV guys coming up, I've coached every single kid already that – um, we have on this year's team, which is something I couldn't say a year ago with it being my first year. Um, you know, knowing everybody for a year plus, you know, them knowing me, knowing how practices are run, knowing how we approach games, um, knowing, knowing how we approach anything during basketball season. They're all comfortable with it now, and I think that's helped them, you know, build off this offseason and literally jump right into this season as if they're, they've already gone through weeks of practice. You know, they've, with this offseason, they've positioned themselves where they're ready to go. Coach Seaver is looking forward to the leadership as well as the significant in-game contributions he expects to get out of the four players who will serve as his captains. They're all returning contributors off of last year's team. Dwight is a senior captain. He was a captain last year as a junior, leading scorer, leading rebounder coming back. So, you know, we have that leadership on the court and off the court from him. Uh, Dimitri really, he, he was our most improved player last year, really started to get himself going, coming off the bench at the end of last season. He had a terrific offseason. He's earned himself a job in the starting lineup going into this year. Um, you know, Josh Andonian is the workhorse of the group. It's, it's kind of funny we had, we knew we needed a good offseason. We used to call it the Josh Andonian offseason just because of his work ethic and a lot of guys, you know, kind of took that and ran with it, joined him. He's the guy in the gym and, you know, he's gone from a guy who, was learning the ropes as a varsity uh, player last season to someone who will contribute for us this year. And then Zach is, was a sophomore starting point guard last year. He, he had his growing pains. You know, it's tough to be a sophomore at the point guard position in the Hockamock. And he went through his learning experiences last year. I think he's ready for a big year, and he's, he's only a junior. He'll have another year coming back after that. Speaking of the Hockamock League, Coach Seaver already has a strong impression of the landscape of Milford's division for the year ahead. On the Davenport side of the Hawk, I think Foxborough is definitely the favorite. They returned almost everybody from a, a team that made the district semis last year. So they'll be the team to beat. Um, you know, Sharon's another good team. But, you know, I think, honestly, I think it's an open open leak. You know, uh, all of Rames lost all five starters. Um, you know, Stoughton lost two of their three big threats. You know, and like I said, we're returning 10 of 14 guys with guys coming up. You know, the, I, I think it's all, we can only go up from here. And, you know, can we compete? Among the best in the hockey, I don't see why not. I think we can be a tournament team. You know, we, we can think that on paper going into the season, and then at the end of the day, we have to go out and prove it. You know, after last season with all these guys coming back, you know, we we have everything to prove this season. We need to play with a chip on our shoulder no matter 
how many weeks into the season we be, we have we haven't proven anything until we get to that point. But you know, our goal is to make the state tournament, find a way to win at least ten games, and you know, see where we are as the season goes along. We have to we have to continue to get better every day. That's that's the simple goal. Hey everybody, this is Tim Coet. Make sure you check out full episodes of the Milford Informer on Milford TV. New episodes air every Friday night at 7.30 p.m. and then re-air frequently over the course of the weekend. Milford TV can be found on Comcast Channel 8 and Verizon Channel 38. And if you live in the Milford area and have an idea for a news story, you can contact us at news at milfordtv.net.